I'm Kristen Aline John and I'm super 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 excited that you've decided to press on this video I am here as you can see sitting in my car I debated you know should I sit inside the car should I sit inside the house but I made a decision to sit inside the car because I feel like um, beside the fact that person's probably passing and thinking that I'm crazy, the reality is I could get to see a, I have a wonderful view out here. I um, really and truly am super grateful for the opportunity that technology provides so that I'll be able to sit here and just share with you and encourage you, especially persons who feel hopeless, especially amidst this pandemic. My God. Oh, Jesus, you know. So, um, my intention is that we're just gonna share some biblical tidbits just to give us that little push that little, mm, that we need especially throughout this extremely challenging time I do not profess to be a pastor um, a minister or a theologian I have not done any extensive studies outside of just my personal word time you know just my meditation day and night on the word but I do believe that because I've been through some very trying situations and the Holy Bible has really pushed me and helped me and molded me and really allowed me to renew my mind and to be a new being. And even though this, um, I live in a world of uncertainty, one thing remains certain, you know, God is always there and is always sure. So I just really am grateful for the opportunity to be able to share the word with you so we're just going to say a prayer holy father i want to thank you oh god for the opportunity to be able to you know um, share your word worldwide i pray right now at this moment those who are listening would be blessed it would open their eyes to a particular area that may have been challenging for them we pray oh god that those who are listening that you open their hearts and you have your way holy spirit for you are the one true and living god any sins that we would have made whether it be thought word or deed whether we were aware or unaware we ask you to have mercy on us so that this word will go forth in a way that is pleasing unto you in no other name but the name of jesus christ i pray amen okay so for years years okay i felt as if i was a person that always had some issue to deal with maybe it's not true compared to some person's life but that was my experience um so in 2019 i had a life altering experience life altering i was at home and an intruder came in and did the most unthinkable thing someone could try to do to a female and I, I i really and truly nearly lost my mind that's how i felt at least and so many things happened to me from a spiritual level that really brought me to where our bible verse is going to come from today so it's a psalm 119 verse 71 and so many of us in this pandemic is going through severe hardships and it may not be financial for you um, you may not have been evicted but for some persons it's just mental mentally they feel like they're gonna blow at any time they feel like they're always one decision or one step away from losing it and I want you to know that God has blessed very intelligent persons such as certified psychologists and therapists that you can talk to but I do know sometimes certain systems are in place which will make this very challenging to access, um, access. so if you are in a country or a location that allows you to get these services free of charge or without it um, being too much on your pocket please do use it therapy helps I know it helped me okay so just want to put that out there um the word of god is life-changing however we have to remember that you have to use sense okay if there is a situation where you feel like mentally this is too much there are resources there are strategies that you could also use in addition to a closer relationship with christ and reading your word to help you okay so let's use wisdom especially in this season so psalm 119 71 says it is good for me that i have been afflicted that i may learn your statutes 
now if i read that five years ago i would have been like what madness is this they're talking about um it was good that i was afflicted who wants to be afflicted honestly nobody think about it everybody wants the instagram life everybody wants to feel like life is going exactly as they wrote in the journal exactly as our teachers and our parents told us that it's gonna go once we do these certain things on the checklist but newsflash it doesn't okay and i think by now most of us have known that we are in a pandemic where things that once seem normal is no longer normal the new normal which to me is quite abnormal um has really shifted our perspective and I do hope that if there's one positive that came out of corona is that you you it would have helped you to reevaluate a lot of your thought processes and for you to really identify and ask yourself this question am I where I want to be in Christ okay and we have a lot of downtime most of us to really reassess what are the next steps you want to take in the next five ten years uh, into ensuring that we are where God wants us to be all right, so right, so Psalm 119 verse 71. This verse works closely with Romans 8 28. Let's me read let, let's read that one. So Romans 8 28 says, and we know that all things, not some, not one third, not one half not one quarter but all every single word in that line is important all even the negative even the bad experiences they work together for good for good hmm. so when i read that i was like lord how could you take someone um being so intrusive into my personal home in the presence of my husband and my daughter and do the unthinkable thing and make that turn around for my good? That's impossible. But we serve a God that makes the impossible possible. So let's let, okay, let me finish that up. Let me finish that up who are called according to his purpose all right so let me read that over again and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God right to those who are called according to his purpose I absolutely love that Bible verse because that Bible verse answers this question why does bad things happen to good people I thought I was a pretty good person you know I don't really trouble nobody and that type of thing um, so why would something so vile and disgusting and 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 and, and ugh, would happen to me and why would God sit on a throne and watch that but I am a living manifestation I'm a living testimony that once you love God and you are called according to his purpose every single thing even the worst thing that has happened to me is going to work together for my good and even in your situation right now you may have in the past or currently going through extremely bad times and you have no idea how this could ever work in your favor i am here to tell you that it will it will it doesn't feel like it because we are not God so we don't know the end but Jesus knows the beginning and the end he's the author and the finisher of our faith so we have to now have the measure of faith believing that you know what I'm gonna stand and I'm gonna put a mandate on the Word of God the Word of God says so you stand up and you say read Romans Romans 8 28 repeat it that even though you're probably living on the street probably bunking by someone you don't want to be probably don't know where your next meal is coming from or anything that is happening to you that just seems like you want to throw in the the towel remind yourself that the Word of God is not a lie you we just have to put a mandate on it meaning that we have to demand that it's gonna work out 
So you have to know that all things will work together for good to those who love God. All right? And are called according to his purpose. People are thinking I'm crazy. Somebody's parking next to me here. So that's very important to note. It will all work out. You have to have faith. You have to believe that that is going to, that every single negative thing, even though it doesn't feel or look that way currently, will work together for your good. And what do you do in the meantime? While you're waiting for this to manifest or while you're waiting for this to come into actualization, you remind yourself of it daily. You know, one of the reasons why it's important and the Bible even said it, that it's important for you to meditate upon the word of God day and night because the human brain is wired for you to remind yourself consistently the same way people say positive affirmations every day. You can use the Bible scripture as a positive affirmation also. Stand up and tell yourself, I may be going through this situation, but I know what Romans 8, 28 says and I know it's going to work together for my good because I love the Lord and I'm called according to his purpose. Yeah. God is not a man. He's not going to lie. And when you're praying, you say, Lord, according to what you said in 828, he now knows, okay, okay, let me see what I got to do. We got to put, this word of God is so powerful, but we don't use it. We don't maximize it. We don't juice it. Get all we can get out of it. Every day you get up and you repeat that to yourself until it, it, it's etched into your heart strings. That even when you're sleeping, you're hearing it in your spirit. That even when something negative comes, you know, the Holy Spirit reminds you and bring back to your remembrance this verse. Read it. Mull over it. Say it every day. Stand in the mirror. Say it out loud. Believe it. I am living testimony that it did. And how did it manifest for me? I have never been so close to God. I've always loved God. I've always believed in having a good relationship with him. But my relationship was nowhere near where it is for today. And I thank God, just as Psalm 9, uh, 119, 71 says, that I was afflicted. Because then, that's when I really started to 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 extract the word of god that's what i really started trying to understand what my what a relationship a personal relationship with christ means to me what in my life needs to change what why would god allow this to happen and how is this going to work together for my good i am at a stage of my life where i have never felt stronger than ever my whole world is crashing financially the banks are calling me i'm tired yeah okay i'm really tired of that but i gotta believe what the word says i mean there are things i got to do so that i am you know there's faith with works but i am actually believing that this is all going to work out for my good mentally there were some other things i was dealing with before that because I've utilized the principles, because I, um, I, I started to divulge in the word of God a lot more, it's so much easier to carry some of these burdens because I don't have to carry them. God does. I cast them onto him. I'm not saying I'm not human and something be like, ah, 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 and sit and cry and stuff come down my nose and have, yeah, that happens to me still. But I, but I have shown so much improvement only because in my weakness is when he became strong i think that's actually romans 8 actually so it's romans 8 26 no yes 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 so the spirit also helps in our weaknesses sorry that one for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered ha! Until you've been through some things in life that has brought your flesh woo, to be diminished so small that your spirit man is what's in the front of the, of the race. This Bible verse may not make that much sense to you. 
but the week after I had that attack against myself and my family my flesh was literally dead well i wasn't eating probably uh most likely because i was just you know going through it emotionally the, the normal ptsd according to my um psychologist I, I was going through it i wasn't eating i was losing weight you know um, intrusive thoughts were happening oh it was a hot mess i couldn't sleep i still sometimes have some difficulty sleeping but i am a whole lot better now all praise and thanks be to god all right <laughs> except for my daughter come to my bed to sleep but other than that i sleep much better all praise right so just want to um just really stress on that it's really really important for us as believers oh sorry right so in conclusion this week i'm gonna give you a little challenge anytime that problem that you're currently facing that problem that you're currently trying to manage throughout this difficult pandemic period i want you to repeat romans 8 28 i mean most persons have access to bible verses on their phone so repeat it to yourself romans 8 28 all right and i want you to say it at least twice a day every single day and remember that god doesn't usually work with microwave time though he could if he wanted to but it has to work according to his time and and and, and his divine will for your life so i want to encourage everyone don't throw in the towel i know it's hard we're going through it it's a lot but we don't have to go through this alone and we don't have to bear the challenges and the burdens that this new era that we're in is giving or throwing or forcing on us because we serve a god that's bigger than it we serve a god that all we have to do is say a prayer lord i'm overwhelmed lord i'm tired help me carry this show me what to do and if we quiet our spirit enough we may just hear I know I did. Are you willing to do the same too? Talk to God. I mean, he's literally always there. There's nothing you have to do except come as you are, repent of your sins, and converse with him. Don't study the church people. Or that's one of the reasons you hear a lot, you know, being hypocrites or whatever you you ain't a hypocrite or you try not to be it's never about people it's never about your family it's never about it's about you and god that's what you have to get account for so as, as i so as i close out remember that though we may have been hearing this for years we are now seeing things that we haven't seen for a lot of years or probably for some persons it's never happened in this lifetime what I would encourage is that we be sensitive to the environment around us right now and know that we have a period, a very time sensitive period to get closer to God. We won't have this forever. He's giving us a chance. Would you take it? Would you use it? Are you doing all that he's asking you to do in this season? If not, why not? If you're a believer, that's your soul. That should be your soul purpose anyway. So, I love you. God loves you even more. And I will see you next Wednesday. Remember that it was good that you were afflicted. Because it was then you learned his statues. Bye.